Good afternoon, this is Rick coming at you again from Night Equipment, just west of Rockford, Illinois. We sell the Bravo brand trailers here and our enclosed offering. And today we're going to show you their three different models of trailer, the Star, the Scout, and the Hero. Explain the differences to you. So we're going to begin right here with the Star model. This is the good commercial grade trailer we would call this. Sell a lot of these to contractors that use them real hard every day. This happens to be a V-nose shape of trailer as opposed to the flat front. We have an extended triple tube tongue. When we do that and extend the tongue, we can set the jack back so you can put the tailgate of a pickup truck down without hitting it. And also on this trailer, we typically put a adjustable um, vertical channel and a coupler you can adjust the height on. That can also be a pintle ring. Some of our contractors like to pull with the pintle ring. 24 inch stone guard is standard. The bright looking nose cap is standard. Add just a little bit of looks to the trailer. The jack is plated. The side doors come with three locks on them, a latch lock, a deadbolt, and then we have them add the bar lock on it. It'll make it look a little bit more secure. Might deter the rookies from breaking into your trailer. This unit has just a little bit of extra height to it. The rear door opening on this trailer is six and a half feet. And then you have an 84 inch interior height. The skin standard on the outside is 30 thousandths, pre-painted aluminum. And on this particular trailer, we've used the screws to fasten the sheeting to the framework. And speaking of the framework, this is a six inch tube tongue your upright posts are tubing. They're 16 inch on center standard. You can always upgrade the framework on these Bravo trailers if you're gonna use them real hard and put a lot more weight in them. Radial tires, easy lube hubs on the axles. These are Dexter axles and these are torsion axles. We typically upgrade to the torsions for the guys using them real hard every day. Eliminate the maintenance on the axles on the suspension system. This unit is equipped with a rear ramp door. It could be double doors. Double doors are optional. This ramp door is, uh, the durability of it, it's rated like a car hauler. It uh, will handle 5,500 pounds rolling dispersed. And even though on a seven wide trailer, you may not be loading something that heavy, it'll just give you a lot of longevity on, on the ramp door. Has an extension on the ramp door. The cable assist, cables on both sides. On the interior, the wall board comes standard 3 8 inch. That's called Dry Max. It has moisture resistance to it. The floor is 3 quarter inch Dry Max. Again, moisture resistant. The cross members are, um, in this case, 16 inch on center. One piece aluminum roof. A couple dome lights with three way wall switches on this unit. And we have a Max Air roof vent with the rain shield on it. Bravo mounts the breakaway battery on the inside on the V nose trailers. That's for your breakaway kit for emergency. This particular unit was equipped with 3,500 pound axles. This unit can also be equipped with 5,200 pound axles, 6,000 pound axles, or 7,000 pound axles. Again, depending on the weight and how you're going to use the trailer. So that's the star. That's what we call the commercial grade trailer. Now we're going to walk you through the Scout. This would be what we'd call their good mid-grade trailer. Main difference between this and the star is the framework. The framework on this one is a four inch tube instead of six inch tube. However, if we need to get extra height on this trailer, we can do a six inch tube as an option. Sometimes we do that so that we can add a short dovetail to the back of the trailer to get up to an 81 inch rear door opening height for some of these real tall UTVs. Basically the layout of the trailer is the same. The big difference between this and the star is the framework. The wall posts are a little bit lighter on this trailer. And this trailer we would have typically equipped with a 2700 pound rated ramp door. Still radial tires, still LED lights, still Dexter axles. 
Same situation on the inside of the trailer. Three quarter floor, three eighths walls. And we typically put the cross members on this trailer 16 inch on center, I'm sorry, 18 inch on center as opposed to 24 inch on center standard. Okay, now we're gonna show you the Bravo Hero. They came out with this model a couple years ago to have a little bit lower price point. So you can see the framework on this trailer is a little bit different. We've got the four inch tongue. Uh, you're limited on options on this trailer. This is the standard length of tongue, standard configuration of tongue. Painted jack instead of plated jack, shorter stone guard. Little bit different side door, just a bar lock on the side door. It does have radial tires and then we do upgrade to LED lights on this model. But this model would be used more for occasional use as opposed to working in the trailer every day. The ramp door on this one is rated at 2,700 pounds rolling dispersed. On the inside of this trailer, you still have the three quarter inch dry max floor. The cross members beneath the deck are only 24 inch on center. And then notice that the wall covering is the thin lightweight Luon. They have come out with a couple more options on the trailer. We can get the 3 8 dry max on the walls if we want to. So three different trailers, same layout, same general features. Of course, the Scout and the Star can all be dolled up. Lots of options added to them, either to make them a better work trailer or a prettier trailer for somebody looking for a little bit more um, dazzle going down the road. Now, a little bit of price guidance on these. If the Star, the commercial grade trailer, is $7,000 and a similarly equipped Scout then would be about $1,000 less, about $6,000. And then when you drop down the Hero, you're dropping down roughly another $1,000. So price guidance, $7,000, $6,000, $5,000 dollars to give you an idea of the difference in the prices for what you're getting for the money. So we're glad you took a few minutes to look at these with us. Thank you very much. Call if you got any questions. You can check us out on our website at www.nightequip.com. Uh, best they'll give us a call. We'd like to talk to you and tell you more about what we offer here at Night Equipment. Thanks for joining us.